hey, you know it's a very typical problem for software developers and software developer managers to understand um, how effective we are and how much results we actually produce in a certain amount of time. And you know that uh, there is a very popular metric called the lines of code, which is um, an absolute, uh, absolutely uh, ineffective and inaccurate and doesn't really tell anything about the actual amount of effort programmers spend on writing code, because you may write a lot of uh, a lot of lines of code, many of them, but still do not produce anything workable. And you may spend a lot of time on thinking and then produce just a few lines of code on evil, or even delete lines of code, and there will be a, a good result um, delivered to, to the final product. So lines of code is not a good metric. It's known for many years, but still some people use it in some projects. I also do pay attention to that metric when I look at the project uh, when it's done, when the project is finished. For example, in my annual uh, quality award, which I do every year for open source developers, uh, I pay attention to their size of repositories by looking at the numbers of, uh, by looking at the lines of code they have there. And if the repository is less than 5,000 lines of code, then it's considered a small project. If it's more and it's bigger and so on and so on. But that's the absolute metric which we cannot look at when the project is finished when the project is thanks when the project is working and in progress then we want to pay attention to how much the developer is producing per hour per day so we don't want to look at the final result we want to know uh, in progress and uh, a few years ago I suggested uh, hits of code metric it's called hits of code which is uh, which was I didn't know that, but before me, uh, Microsoft introduced that and it, and it was called a uh, code churn. But it doesn't matter how you call it, the bottom line is that it's calculated differently than the lines of code. Hits of code is calculated by uh, looking at the repository, by looking at the changes you commit to the repository, for example, Git repository or subversion repository, and calculating uh, how many lines of code you touched, added or deleted uh, or modified in each commit and then summarizing them all together. Uh, so let's say you start with a file of 100 lines and then you change five lines here, five lines there, and then you make those changes like 10 times. In the end, you're gonna get 100 lines, the same 100 lines of code. Well, they're gonna be different, but this, the amount, the size of the repository will be also 100 lines, but five lines here and there will be changed 10 times. So lines of code will be 100. But hits of code will be 5 multiplied by 10, so it's going to be 50, meaning that uh, 50 lines were modified during the, uh, these 10 commits. If you look at the developer, the developer starts with 100 lines and the developer finishes with 100 lines. It looks like the repository didn't grow, the repository didn't shrink, it's the same 100 lines, but we got 50 lines modified during the work with this repository. And I think this metric hits of code is a perfect indicator, maybe not perfect, but a good indicator of uh, the progress of the effort any developer spends on this repository. The bigger the hits of code, the more effort we can say the developer spends on, the, on that repository. And I created a, a command line tool for that. It's called HOC, hits of code. Uh, it's a Ruby gem and it's open source. You can uh, check it out and use it on your repository. It understands Git and Subversion. And just about a week ago, um, one of my uh, reader uh, who knew about this metric uh, sent me a, an information, Valentin Brandl, that's his name, uh, sent me uh, an information about uh, a free tool he created for uh, helping you developers to calculate this metric, hits of code, on your repository for free and online and use the GitHub badge to, uh, to, uh, to demonstrate to your users how big is your repository in this hits of code metric. So I would recommend you use that um, free service. It's a hosted service and um, feel free to suggest changes to that. It, it seems like a pretty stable uh, piece of uh, software. Uh, Valentin manages it perfectly. So my summary of this video is that hits of code seems to be like a good metric for uh, measuring the effort programmers are spending on, on the software they work with. You can use it in your team to see who is performing better, who is performing worse. You can use it for yourself to see how much, um, how productive you are. And in the combination with lines of code, uh, they together 
can perfectly demonstrate who is who in a software project. So that's it. Thanks for listening. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.